the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, everyone. My sisters and brothers, as we are gathered here as a family of faith to offer the most holy Eucharist, let's now acknowledge our sins and failures and so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord? Besides whom there is no other God, there is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable world word, to me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come, all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. Let the clouds, Let the clouds rain, rain down, down the, the just, one, just one, and the earth bring forth the Savior. 
I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them, and blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, the question of John the Baptist in the Gospel today, are you the one who is to come, seems a bit strange. John the Baptist sends his disciples actually to clarify the messianic identity of Jesus. And Jesus does not directly reply, but allows his works. He reveals his divine nature by healing the blind, the lame, the lepers, the possessed. Jesus proves that he is the fulfillment of the prophecies 
of the Old Testament, and he is the one who is to come. And Jesus proves that he is a Christ, not by his words, but by his actions. Visible correlation of Jesus' deeds confirm that he is not just a great prophet, but he is the Messiah, the coming Messiah. And my friends, during this holy season of Advent, we are waiting like John the Baptist. We know we have found the answer. We know and we believe that Jesus is the one to come and we do not have to wait for another. And we are richly blessed, greatly blessed to wait for the second coming of Jesus in glory and majesty. However, my friends, today, we do not know what to expect in life. At times, we lose our hopes. We are wavering in our faith and do not dare to look beyond our comfort zone. Quite often, we lose it because we tend to exceedingly interest our own sources, our own forces, and do not wish to see ourselves in need of the Lord's healing hand. And we are fretful at times and feeling very low for not being able to cope with the life situations. Yet, my friends, we are glad to be faithful to Jesus. The good Lord wants to take advantage of our uncertainty so that we can examine our life completely, being able to strengthen our life of faith. And my friends, whenever we come to God in our brokenness, in our poverty, in our need, and need, and we will experience his presence as healing, life-strengthening, life-giving, and renewing. That is a good news for us, especially in these strange times. And one thing, my friends, we need to know to live or survive a life crisis, a faith crisis. If John the Baptist, even after having had a direct encounter with Jesus as a Messiah, could come to the point of question and doubt and revision of his faith, so then can we. And therefore, during this Holy Mass, let us pray from our hearts in order that we should learn our faith in depth, in order that we may be strengthened to lead a life of grace, peace, grace, joy in all circumstances. Praised be the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Please stand for the prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, with profound trust and confidence, let's now present our needs and those of the world to our most gracious God. For all priests, religious, and lay servants of the church, may the gifts of the Holy Spirit empower them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the world, may the blessed advent of Jesus bring peace among nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the suffering and sick among us, may Christ's healing presence be upon them and bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us present in this assembly, may God fashion our hearts in this Advent season to see Jesus more readily around us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. 
for Theodosio Peña and Alma Rosa Perez on their 19th wedding anniversary, for Alfredo y Silvia Robles for their health, for the health of Danny Lorena and Sofia Martinez, for the health of Juan Martinez, for healing, health, and well-being of Raul Gutierrez. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the souls of the faithful departed, especially for Estela Flores on her one-year anniversary. Henry Bukowski, may God's mercy bring them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving God, we thank you for hearing our prayers and petitions and supplications. We ask that you answer them according to good and gracious will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting light. O oh Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we call. In sorrow that the ancient squirt shall doom to dead an universe, you came, O oh Savior, to set free. You're on in glorious liberty. When this old world drew on toward night, you came but not in splendor bright, not as a monarch but the child of Mary, blameless mother mine. my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed it is first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. And when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may encourage the great promise in which now we dare to cope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, 
are full of your glory. Osanaim, the highest. Osanaim, the highest. Blessed is he. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of a face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of a church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, behold him, Jesus, who is the bread of life for us. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. <laughs>
Friends, may we now do the act of spiritual communion for those unable to receive Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed evening, everyone.